Okay, so today I'm going to install this 15 amp shore power plug into the trailer. Um, I've already gone ahead and cut off the little extension bit because I will be hard wiring it into the inverter. I picked up some trailer wire which is 14.3 and it's stranded which is good for a trailer application because um, the terminals won't come loose. It's the exact same gauge as the wire that this plug came with and basically I'll be using that uh, throughout the rest of the build for my uh, two outlets. Now to splice it together, I'm just gonna use some butt connectors, use my wire crimpers and um, heat shrink, make it all nice and tidy. I got my heat gun and my two inch hole saw blade on my drill uh, to fast to install the uh, shore power. I'm gonna have to put some butyl tape as well just to seal it up. I'm gonna install the outlet at the front of the trailer, at the front end here on the driver's side, uh, around this location here, sort of in line with the vent, I think. So that'll be a good spot to sort of hook this up. So yeah, here we go. So you might have noticed that the uh, wires, uh, the colors are slightly different. My trailer 4.3 is red, white, and black. And my little extension bit here is, you know, the typical red, white, and green. Green for ground, black for hot. Uh, I think just to make this as least complicated as possible. I'm going to wire the red to hot, white to white, so neutral, and then black to ground. That way it's kind of similar to, I guess, the 12 volt system because you just have your red, your, your red positive and your um, black negative. I was originally going to use my red as the ground, but I think that might get a little bit confusing. So I'm just gonna do that instead. Okay, so that's the uh, splice all nice and tidied up. I just finished it with some electrical tape and uh, heat shrinked each individual wire so there's no possibility of any moisture or anything getting in there. Um, and that's a nice solid connection now. And basically I just extended, you know, this wire uh, an extra three feet. Essentially what this is really is just an extension cord. Now I'm just gonna double check. Um, I'm not an electrician and I don't uh, warranty any of my work or suggest that you try this at home. But basically I just have an extension cord plugged into this thing and then I have the exposed wires at the other end uh, just to check to see if you know I got the wires right and to make sure that the adapter that I bought is you know wired correctly. So I got my red hot and my white neutral and we can see that I got 120 volts through there. 122, 123. So that's perfect. Cool. All right, um, right about there looks about right. Sure. like burning foam. Nice. Well, that looks clean. Cool. Look at that. That was easy. Ta-da! That is the chunk I must cut out. There's the insulation 
cut and then this fits it perfectly. I'm gonna add some caulking to this side and then just press it fit in there and then the screws from the other side uh, will sort of hold it in place. Beetle tape. Alright, got the beetle tape on the back side there. Time to fasten this to the trailer. Got my little screws here. I'm going to run my wire. Uh, within this half inch space here, drill a hole through the stud and then basically have it hook up to the inverter that's going to be mounted here. So that's the shore power hookup installed, pass through. I drilled my hole through the stud here and then just ran my wire through. And then now I have a nice sort of run, short run to uh, the inverter, which I have yet to hook up, but I just sort of mocked it up with my uh, uh, cardboard inverter. But I have uh, basically an AC in and AC out port. So I'll just run the ni wire nice and tidy with some clips on the wall and then sort of have that AC in hookup. I'll have to uh, clean up the beetle tape that's expanding out with just a plastic knife, but I'm gonna let it sort of settle first for like an hour or so, and then do that. Uh, but yeah, I think this turned out great. Nice little shore power hookup. Should be waterproof. Perfect. On to the next project.